Welcome, my name is Greg Kruger. I'm the Application Technology and Weed Science Specialist at the West Central Research and Extension Center in North Platte, Nebraska with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Today I'm going to talk a little bit, uh, real briefly, about cleaning backpack sprayers. Much like uh, cleaning any other type of sprayer, we have a couple of uh, very common spray components that every sprayer has. Uh, the first is the tank. You can see that uh, this is where we've got that spray solution stored. Uh, making sure that that gets cleaned down is going to be our primary objective. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a hose running to a, a spray wand. Here, on this particular uh, backpack sprayer, uh, you can see we've got just a single nozzle sprayer. Uh, behind that sprayer is going to be uh, a joint that we want to make sure that we get real, uh, real clean. A lot of times uh, we, we find that residues and stuff can build up uh, behind that uh, spray nozzle. So making sure that we get that cleaned out is, is going to be a primary objective as well. So uh, the first thing we would want to do, and we, we've already done it uh, here, uh, we, we add some water to the tank. Uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to swish that tank around, make sure that uh, we uh, wash down any residues on the, the tank walls and such. And then uh, with this backpack sprayer, we've got a little pump here to build pressure. We're going we're gonna to build just a little bit of pressure on that uh, uh, tank system. And then uh, we're going to let that uh, fluid drain out. Uh, so you can see we've got just a single nozzle sprayer here. Uh, we've washed down the walls, and now we're, we're going to uh, run uh, water, clean water through that line so that we can flush the, the line and the nozzle out. It's really that simple. Uh, Making sure though that we get, get all of the different components clean is really critical on these sprayer, on these backpack sprayer systems. Uh, behind me, I've got another sprayer system, backpack sprayer system. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This is a little bit larger. We'd use this for uh, more broadcast type applications. You can see with this uh, particular sprayer, uh, we've got six different nozzles on here. Uh, once again, though, same spray components. We've got our spray tank here. Uh, we've loaded it up with water. Uh, We've got some hoses that are running in the sprayer from our pressure source. This time we've got a CO2 tank to pressurize that tank, uh, to pressurize that liquid. And then we've got a liquid line coming out to our, our boom and then out to the nozzles. Once again, uh, we're gonna put fresh water on there and then we're just gonna run that fresh water through the lines. This time we wanna make sure when we've got multi-nozzle booms that every nozzle is running and that we're flushing water through that uh, each of those nozzles. Uh, if, if we get too complacent and uh, clean this too quickly, we won't get fluid out to the outside edges and we'll have uh, contamination in the outside nozzles. So in summary, it's really important that we clean these backpack sprayers out. While it doesn't take much time and really isn't a, a laborsome task, it's really important because if we're using uh, uh, different products uh, through the same backpack sprayer, making sure that we clean out what we had in there before is important so that we don't uh, spray out a product that we don't intend to somewhere.